Itobi has no plan to leave Nigeria, the Labour Party. Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, LPPCC, yesterday accused the Rounding Up Progressive Congress, APC, of a well-calculated and orchestrated campaign of calumny to discredit and illegitimize Mr. Peter Robi, the presidential candidate, to compare him to abandon his right to seek redress in court. Following the outcome of the last election, which was adjudged both locally and internationally to have failed to meet any standard of credibility or fairness. The Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council insisted that Mr. Pitobi has no intention to leave the country at this time, irrespective of the pressure on him and his family. The campaign council in a statement yesterday by a chief spokesperson of Bidati Campaign Council, Dr. Tanko Yunusa said, We continue to thank all Nigerians, especially the youth and obedience as they have remained con- focused on the core mission of a new Nigeria that is possible even after the presidential election of February 25, 2023. Before, Throughout and after the campaign, it is on record that Mr. Peter Obi maintained his commitment and focus on an issue-based campaign about a new Nigeria that is possible, a shift of emphasis from consumption to production, as well as a new Nigeria characterized by inclusion, justice, equity, fairness, and prosperity. He repeatedly stated that no one should vote for him based on tribe or religion but rather on the assessment of character, competent capacity, credibility, and compassion. Most unfortunately, in the past few weeks, Mr. Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate in the February 25, 2023 presidential election, has been contacted by associates, other statesmen, family, and friends with concern for his personality. These concerns have increased intensively in the last few days as immense pressure has been mounted directly on P2B to leave the country. No doubt, from source allied to the APC and its agent in the security service, Mr. P2B has been repeatedly and categorically told that he has a choice to leave or face the prospect of being arrested on false charges of inciting insurrection in the country. It is difficult to fathom and regrettably unfortunate that state institutions have become part of well calculated deliberate and orchestrated campaign of calumny by the APC to discredit and then determine Mr. Peter Robi and compare him to abandon his right to seek redress in court following the outcome of the last election, which was adjudged both locally and internationally. As part of the grand design, they are circulating a fake doctor audio call at no time throughout the campaign and now did Mr. Obi ever say think or even imply that the 2023 election is or was a religious war. It is very sad and wicked, the attempts to manipulate Nigerians. Our legal teams have been instructed to take appropriate legal actions against the media outlets that make themselves willing to in the hands of APC malicious propaganda. Despite the public denunciation of the fake audio call, its content have been translated to other Nigerian languages and circulated in most part of the northern Nigeria with some of our most dense lyrics deceived and instigated to use the contents for their sermon at various mocks during the usual fr- Friday prayers. This is a dangerous development at the time the APC led government and the APC party which have been awarded undeserved and unfair victory should be more concerned in addressing the ethnic and religious frictions unfortunately created by the outcome of the election. Yet unsatisfied but determined to cause more problems, Mr. Naya Mohammed, who fancies himself as modern day Goebbels is on a tour of some selected countries to present an alternative story about the 2023 discredited election. There are many more campaigns of calumny against Mr. Peter Obi planned for the near future, both before and during the court process. However, we want to make it clear to the APC party APC led government and its agent that Mr. Obi, a widely traveled man, has no intention to leave the country at this time, irrespective of the pressure on him and his family. 
Nigerians and the international community to caution APC and APC in the federal government to stop their nasty attack. Mr. B's focus and commitment to lawful and peaceful retrieval mandate peacefully retrieve our mandate to secure and unite our nation. Take Nigerians from consumption to production. Put millions of Nigerians out of multi-dimensional poverty, especially in the north, and jumpstart prosperity through agricultural, industrial, and technological revolution remains unchanged. He has continued to impress upon his supporters the essence of the legal process and will not now or in the future encourage any violence against the state. He has absolutely no reason for this, nor desperate, especially as throughout the campaign he called for a new Nigeria defined by the opportunities for all an end to poverty and criminality in the government, especially corruption and an end to tribal and religious division and bigotry. It is for this reason that we appeal to revered religion leaders, especially in the north, not to be part of the grand design of the state apparatus to further increase the religious and ethnic divide in the country. Irrespective of the outcome of the court process, we have the obligation to strive for the peace and coexistence of all Nigerians. We call on President Muhammadu Buhari to rein in his desperate officials at all levels at their actions or inactions could lead to unnecessary crises in the country. Elections are over and we are in court to retrieve our stone mandate. We reiterate that we are doing so through all lawful and peaceful options in line with our legal system and constitution. And I continue to implore all Nigerians to remain peaceful and law-abiding. Those fixated on heating up the polity, creating division, tension, and hatred within outside, Nigeria should remember that Nigeria is our only country. Our focus should be on how to address the litany of challenges facing us, such as deliberate non-adherence to the election process, the parallel state of our economy, unsustainable debt burden, lamentable unemployment and inflation, insecurity, and multidimensional poverty. A new Nigeria is indeed possible, and God will help us.